Now let us uh, solve a very interesting concept which is exponent of prime. Okay, and let's start doing with then help of an example or a question. It says find the exponent of 3 in 100 factorial. So first of all, what do you mean by exponent? Exponent is nothing but power, right? Exponent means power. So whatever we are going to study here, remember exponent of prime is the topic. So we can find only powers of prime number, right? Remember prime factorization for this. So we can only find powers of a prime number in a factorial. So rather than saying exponent of prime, I should say exponent of a prime in n factorial, right? So for example, if I take this is the first problem, it says 100 factorial, right? So you want to find power of 3 in 100 factorial. This is the question. So how do you actually solve this? Now let's see. Very interesting stuff. So assume that n here is 100. What you will do is 100 by 3. And this bracket means GIF. Greatest, this is GIF function, greatest integer function. Then do 100 by 3 square. Right? Then do 100 by 3 cube goes on till you get a 0, right, 100 by 3 raised to power 4. And if you see, if I have to write the next one, it is futile. It is futile to write this also and the further steps also. Why? Because let's see, it is 100 by 3 will be 33 point something. So the GIF of it, that is the integer part of it, it will be 33, right? This is 100 by 9. This will give you what? 11 is the answer only the integer part has to be taken, right? So for GIF, remember 11.99 is again equal to 11. It is not round off. It is not 12, believe me, right? So this is GIF, floor function. This is 100 by 27. 100 by 27 will have 3 as the quotient. 100 by 81, this is only 1. This will give you 0 and all the subsequent terms will give you 0. So there is no need of writing them. Just add them up. What value you will get? 48. So that means you will have 3 raised to power 48 in 100 factorial. So 3 will be there 48 times in 100 factorial. That is what is meant by this particular concept. And this is how you have to find answers in this. Let us apply this in the second problem. It says find the exponent of 15 in 100 factorial. Right. So for 15, how you find 15? 15 is what? 15 is nothing but 3 into 5 right so you already know what is the power of 3 in 100 so in 100 factorial right 3 is getting repeated 48 times 5 is also being a prime you can also find power of power of 5 in 100 factorial let's apply it quickly in here also so it will say 100 by 5 plus yes 100 by 5 square which is 25 do you think I have to solve it further? No need because it will be now 5 cube which is 125. This will give me 0. This gives you what? 20. This gives you 4. So that means it has the maximum power of 5 in this particular uh, number that is 100 factorial is 24. Right. 3 was there for 48 times. 5 was there for 24 times. So how many times 15 will be obtained? Think of, think of it. 3 is getting... 48 times, right? 5 is there with you for 24 times. So how many times 15 will be there? Yes, 24 times. Obviously there is a limit, right? So if 5 is limited with a lower value, so that means only that many 15s you will obtain. So 15, so that means you will have 15 raised to power 24 in 100 factorial. This is what is meant by this concept. Brilliant concept. In fact, you will find this concept used in various MBA exams also. Let's take another problem to understand exponent of a prime. Let's say it's find the number of zeros at the end of 100 factorial. Right. So you need to count number of zeros. What is, uh, when do you get a zero at the end of a number? Yes, when you have a multiple of 10. So that means it is asking exponent of 10 in 100 factorial. So this is the question. And this is now you people can actually solve. So 10 is obtained by getting 2 into 5. You have already obtained that 5 in 100 factorial is nothing but 24 times. We just did in the previous question. Right? What will be 2? So for 2 let's solve. So 2 will be 100 by 2. I am just solving though in fact it is not required. I will tell you why. 
this is by 4 similarly 100 by 8 getting it this is how you solve that so for 2 it is the lengthiest calculation 32 and this will be the last one 64 after that you people will not require because otherwise it will become 0 so this is 50 25 12 6 3 this will be 3 and this will be 1 so this is how you will calculate the powers of 2 here if you solve this you will get answer is 97 so that means 5 is there for 24 times right and uh, 2 will be there for 97 times obviously how many times 10 will be obtained obviously the lower value right so sorry 10 will be for 24 times so that means how many zeros at the end 24 zeros so zeros at the end would be 24 this is the answer in fact whenever you find a question which is of let's say 15 so 15 is obtained by 3 into 5 right you just need to solve for 5 only no need to solve for 3 because obviously as you move on the higher the prime number lower the exponent and that will define how many times the bigger number will come so for example if you were to ask for 21 right so 21 is obtained for 3 into 7 so you need not calculate for 3 only calculate for 7 this is the condition that you people should keep in mind 